Hey, how's it going everyone? Welcome to the channel. This is Wrenching with Kenny. So what am I working on today? Well, I've got this 2006 Jeep Wrangler and a customer's complaint was there's a shield rattling underneath it. He says it looks like the bolt might be broken in the frame. Okay. So I get it and I put it up in the air and this is what I find. It's got a threaded insert in the frame right there. I don't know if you can see it sticking down, like a nail head sticking down in there. And I don't know if somebody did something to this. Maybe they did a transmission work at some point. But here. It just free spins. It doesn't go anywhere. All right, great. That's kind of a common problem on these. See, the, the, uh, that, this skid plate that's underneath here for the transmission, or for the transfer case, is not only a skid plate, it's the cross member for the transmission. So that was a common problem, especially up north. So what do you do in a situation like this? Well, there's a couple of different, oops, sorry, there's a couple of different things you can do. One thing is you could try to cut the bolt apart, so this way it's out of the way, and then try to fish it out from the inside. But the problem is that's a insert in the frame. The insert acts like a rivet. And a rivet, what it does is it crushes on one side of the frame and then on the other. So it basically sandwiches in place. So I'd have to take this whole cross member, or this, at least this front section, out and try to grind it all down in order to get it out. That might be the easiest thing to do, but what? a couple of different things you can do. You can either do that, like I said, just grind the head of this off so this way I have access to the upside there. And then see that flat that's in there? You grind that down and try to push it inward and then go with a magnet through that hole to try to get the rest of it out. Then what you can do is you fish in a bolt that has like a wing on the head of the bolt to stop it. And then you feed that in place. This way the wing will catch part of the frame or something like that. And I'll have to make that. So what I am going to do is I'm going to take this whole thing out here. And hopefully this side comes out. That's the less invasive way. The other way to do this is to cut a hole in the frame here. Cut an actual section out. Take it out so you can get to the back side of this, get that whole thing out. Once you do that, you can weld a nut to the inside or weld a bolt sticking down to so have a stud on this side, something along those lines. And then once you do that, you weld the plate back in place. I'm going to do that last. You know, if all else fails, that's what we're going to do. So for now, what I'm going to try doing is I'm going to try grinding down the head of that bolt just to get it out of the way. You know, I'm, going to, I'm going to slice it apart and then I'm just going to take this whole cross member out and then this way I'm going to see what's left up there and see if I can't punch it through to lay inside the frame and then I can get it with a magnet. So let's try that first. And there you go. I basically cut the head of it off. So now actually, I'm going to see it actually will fall through now. No, that's good. I guess the end of it must have rotted out. So let me see if I can't fish it out with a magnet. Now this is the magnet that I really like for stuff like this because this you can bend in any which way you want to. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stick this up in the frame here like this and hopefully catch that bolt. Look at that. Whoops. All right, well, it's right there. Let me dig that out so you can see it. All right, so the bolt itself is actually a little bit bigger than the hole. So what I'm going to have to do is just drop it in. I'm going to have to massage that hole open a little bit just to try to get it out. Um, one thing you can try is you can put a big socket in there that will just fit in a hole. And then with an extension, you can try working it in and out. So let me try that and see if that will work. All right, so I got this that will go in there like that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to basically just tug up, tug down like that just to try to manipulate the hole a little bit. So hopefully it didn't go off the camera. Oh, the camera didn't go off of that too much. But basically I'm going to keep doing that just to try to massage it open slightly. So let me do that for a bit and see if the bolt will come out. All right, sure enough, it came right out. So here you can see what that looks like. And this is what the inside of the frame looks like if you think about it. It's all rusty, rusted up like this. But here's the inside of that thread cert that goes in there. If you think about it, there's really not much that's involved in you know, grabbing a hold of the frame. You know, you're dealing with a very small edge. You know, it's a quick and cheap way to do it. And there you see the knurls on the edge of it just 
to act, you know, as a spot to grab. So luckily I didn't have to pull this whole thing out, but you can actually see the other end of it there. So I got to just knock that out so it's not in there. And then we're going to make a bolt that's going to work in there. Hopefully we'll find out. Here's that other piece. Just so you see it. I just dug it out. All right, let me find a bolt that we're going to use and we're going to, I'll show you how we're going to make it so it stays in the frame. All right, guys, so what I wound up doing is I found a bolt that I'm going to use. I had this old strap for a U-joint, and I basically drilled a hole out so the bolt would go through it. And I'm going to weld the bolt to the strap. So now the, when you go to tighten up the nut, this thing is going to kick one way or the other and actually catch the frame on the inside. So this should lock it in place. So let's get this welded up, and then let's insert this into the frame. All right, so this is what I came up with. I welded that together. I am not a welder, let me just tell you that. But this is going to hold just fine. I put a washer on there too. I held the washer in with a, with a little black O-ring. So now this is gonna fit through the frame. It will fit, I just had it a second ago. I might have to massage the frame a little bit more because now that it's all together. Oh, you know what it is? Because now I put the washer on there. So now the washer's adding a little bit more to it. So let me massage that frame open just a little bit more to get this in place. I actually wound up taking a Dremel and opening the hole up just a little bit. So now this will fit in like such. But now I'm trying to get it down there. Eh, it's kind of a nightmare. Usually you have what they call fish wire. I believe that's what they call it. And it wraps around the threads. And what it does is it's like a long wire and you feed the wire through and it comes out here. I don't have any that's gonna fit this. So I'm gonna have to make something that's gonna fit this. So let me see what I can come up with. And then we're gonna try fishing this through. All right, so here's what I did. Now this is kind of a thick mechanics wire, but it's the only thing I have. You can use, if you have um, a long piece of wire, like even like wiring from a car and you pull it apart and you pull strands out, you could do it with that too. Um, the thing is with this, you have some strength to it to pull it through. So now I'm gonna feed this through, pull the wire out there, and then I should be able to feed this through and it'll guide it so this comes out through there. So let me get this lined up. Unfortunately, I can't film this while I'm doing it because even if I have my tripod, you're not going to see this because I'm going to be all over the place in here. So let me get this started up and I'll show you as, I, as I'm going. So there you go. Now you got the general idea. So now I'm going to start to fish this through and um, it's going to basically fall in there like this. But the problem is, you see how I keep going off it because I'm trying to film and do this at the same time. It's a little difficult. So let me get this fish through and then I'll just show you the end result before I tighten everything up. I mean, from the time I last filmed till now, this took all of about four seconds. So I'm right there. So now as you pull it through, you just pull this wire off. Now it's hanging down. And now it's gonna hit the frame, so it's not gonna go anywhere. So now I could put the nut and the washer on there and tighten that back up and we're gonna be good. All right, so there we go. We got that in place. And like I said, this can be loose, it's fine. See that, how loose that is? Nice and tight, ain't going nowhere now. Like I said, that, that piece that I welded to the bolt, that's gonna hold it. So now, if you ever gotta take that apart, you can, and you don't have to worry about it. I'll probably spray that with something because this way you don't have just a bare bolt hanging out down there, but uh, that's pretty much it. And there's the finished product. Once that dries, it'll kind of blend more in, but obviously it'll be a fresher spray. But that's pretty much it. That's all I'm gonna do with that. And, uh, it's better than cutting the frame open, that's for sure. So hopefully you got something out of that. If you did, hit that like button. If you could, please subscribe. All right, guys, have a great day. Keep wrenching.